able to apply the laws of logarithms introduced in class. So on your formula sheet, the laws of logarithms are here. So we have the product law, the quotient law, the power law, and the change of base. So let's see these laws in action with a few examples. First example, log base 5 of 8 times 6. So we can split this into two terms using the product law. Log base 5 of 8 plus log base 5 of 6. Another example, log base x of y plus log base x of z same base x and x so we can group these under the same logarithm log base x of y times z so we use the product law there another example log base 3 of 27 divided by the log base 3 of 9 so this is a bit of a trick question we cannot use the quotient law as you would expect. So notice there's a division sign here, but the quotient law has a minus sign involved. So we can't apply the quotient law as you might expect. But we can evaluate each term separately and see where that takes us. So we can write 27 in the same base as the log so 3 cubed is the same as 27 and then 9 can be written as 3 squared then we write log base 3 of 3 cubed so 3 cubed is the same as 27 log base 3 of 3 squared so now this base is the same as the argument base so we just pull out the exponent that's the answer for this term And then the base here is the same as the base there for this term. So we pull out the exponent, divide by 2. So 3 divided by 2, you can write as 3 over 2 or 1.5. Another example, 1 half times log base 5 over 2 of 25 minus log base 5 over 2 of 2. So we can first apply the power law here, move this term to be there. Let's do that first. So we have log base 5 over 2, 25 to the 1 half, minus log base 5 over 2 of 2. Now we can apply the quotient law since these two terms are separated by um, a negative sign. But let's first deal with this. Log, so 25 to the 1 half is the same as the square root of 25, which is just 5. What we would do for the next step is log base 5 over 2 and then we can combine these two terms to be one term now 5 over 2 so the 2 came from here and the 5 let's write that in red came from here now we have the base of the log and the base of the argument to be the same the power here is 1 so the answer on this is just 1. Okay, last example for the log laws that we'll look at here. This should be base 6. So log base 6 of 7 to the 4th times 3. So if we write this in two separate log terms, we would write log base 6 of 7 to the 4th 
plus log base 6 of 3. So finally, this isn't quite as quite to the spot where we would like quite yet, so we want to get it all in the same line. Use the power law to get it looking like this. You need to be able to solve exponential equations using logs. This will take advantage of the last major log property, the change of base formula. Let's have a look at an example of this in action. 10 equals 3 to the x. One way to tackle this problem is to change this exponential form into logarithmic form first. So you do log base 3 of 10 equals x. Now we can use the change of base formula on the left side of this equation. So I can take the log base 10 of 10 divided by the log base 10 of 3 log base 10 of 10 is 1, log base 10 of 3, you got a button for that as well, is 0 0.47712. So 1 divided by that number gives you 2.096. In this next example, 45 equals 100 times 1 half to the power of x. If you want to convert this exponential form to logarithmic form. Notice on your formula sheet this exponential form doesn't have anything in front of the exponent base. This one does. So we need to do something about that before we convert from exponential to logarithmic form. But we first need to get rid of this 100 If we divide both sides by 100, we get 4.5 equals 100 times 1 half to the x. So 100 divided by 100, that one disappeared. If we switch this to logarithmic form, we have log base a half of 4.5 equals x. So now we can use the change of base formula. We can take the natural log of this and divide it by the natural log of 1 half and that will give us the answer x. So x is natural log of 4.5 divided by the natural log of 1 half or 0 0.5. Okay, remember we can use the change of base formula with any base logarithm as long as these two choices of base are the same. So we have a natural log button in our calculator so your answer is negative 2.170. In this last example we have 3 equals 8 to the 2x minus 1. So as before we can switch this into log form so log base 8 of 3 equals that. So log base 8 of 3 equals 2x minus 1. So we can use the change of base formula on the left side of the equation here. So we can rewrite this as log base 10 of 3 divided by log base 10 of 8. So I just chose log base 10 because we have a button for it. You could have chose any other base for these two logs, but 10 is just easy. Now we have a number equals 2 times x minus 1. It's very similar to a question like this. 4 equals 2x minus 1. Just solve for x. In order to do that, you would subtract 1 from both sides. So you have log of 3 divided by log of 8. I 
drop the tens there because it's just quicker to write equals 2x. And then last when you solve for x, you got to divide the left side of this equation by 2. So when you put this into your calculator, you end up with 0 0.764. So you would, in order to do this in your calculator, you would do this log of 3 divided by log of 8, then subtract 1, and then once you get that result, divide by 2.